airborne. This video is a short flight, my first flight, taking off and landing back on the clifftops down in Torquay in Australia. What you're looking at is a pilot's eye view. It's the view I've got using my phone as a controller and I've embedded the real footage from the camera from the drone into the video. The flight controller and the use of GPS make drones really easy to fly. This drone's a Phantom 3 standard. My controls are set up in the default layout. The left stick controls up and down and heading and the right stick controls forward, backward and sideward movement. When you let go of the left stick, the flight controller nails the altitude. The vertical speed in the middle down the bottom is zero and I'm just flying around. Taking off is just a matter of pushing forward on the left stick to go up. The GPS counters for wind, so it goes up vertically, it doesn't get pushed back by the wind. You can see in the picture the horizon's not horizontal. These were in my early days of flying and I hadn't calibrated it correctly. Calibrating the IMU, it's a flight management computer, something you need to do at home before you go out flying. You can see down the bottom right the distance the drone is from me and second left from bottom is the distance from its takeoff point. The audio is being recorded on my phone. You can just hear it going overhead now. They're extremely manoeuvrable drones. You can fly them pretty radically. I like trying to fly mine smooth like a real aircraft. I nearly always land manually on the ground, but this time I wanted to try taking it out of the air in practice for those moments when you can't land. But it's certainly got its dangers retrieving it this way. Thanks for watching.